Many of you have requested this on my YouTube comments and my live stream. I'm Mark Sanstedt, and this is my bag check. The bag I'm currently using is the Axiom Tennis Racket Bag. It is made by Go Sport. It has a subtle yet unique design and has much more durable materials than the other major companies out there. So you really don't have to worry about the zippers, the inner linings breaking prematurely. My favorite part, other than the massive compartment of this tennis bag, is that it can stand on its own to act as your own towel holder. Go Sport also has made a tennis backpack that can hold two rackets, and I find myself using it to carry my recording gear every time I'm on the tennis court. I'll leave a link down in the description below. So this tennis bag is able to hold four tennis rackets. So as many of you know, I have uh, four E-Zone 98s. Um, all of them are the 2020 version and they all have different strings. Um, this one, which has the Babolat Pro Hurricane Tour, now called the Babolat RPM Blast, is actually my playtest racket. So every single playtest I do is gonna be on this racket only, just for consistency purposes. Um, going in to the side, earbuds for working out, running and lifting, because music makes everything better. Thank you, Sony. Amazing quality earbuds. And my GoPro Hero 8 Black for the footage of my match plays that I do quite frequently on this channel. So in the main compartment here, I have a reel of my favorite value tennis string, the Isospeed Baseline Control, which in my opinion is even a better version of the Bablot RPM Blast. I did review this tennis string on my channel. I'll leave a link in this corner if you guys wanna take a look at it if you haven't seen it already. Also, I did post on my Instagram the two strings that are going to be chosen to possibly be reviewed next, either the Turna Big Hitter Silver or the Yonix Polytour Fire. And if you want to vote on other strings you want me to review, I'll leave a link down to my Instagram down in the description below for you guys to vote on. Um, wristband, because sometimes practice and matches get sweaty. Uh, athletic tape and pre-wrap, because my knees have been messed up lately. Thankfully, um, they've been pretty good in the past uh, two to three weeks. I've got overgrips, um, the Turner Grip XL uh, light blue grip, the non-tacky version, so thank you, Brian for recommending this. It's really good, especially for a leather grip underneath. And then cones for some of the tennis drills that I do. And then always have a can of tennis balls or two, just in case um, a ball goes flying out or if your hitting partner knocks one in the rafters that doesn't come back down, which happens from time to time. A 64 ounce iron flask, which is literally just as good as a hydro flask and three times cheaper. I highly suggest you guys get this or something very similar that's relatively cheap. Then on one of the side compartments here, kind of like a stretchy band for your hamstrings or if you just want to warm up your shoulders and forearms, it's always pretty good to have to prevent injuries and try to stretch after and before any type of hitting session. I got potassium pills, um, a good uh, option to bananas, but potassium pills don't exactly rot in the sun when it's 90 degrees outside. Um, always good to be able to not cramp best you can. Hey Mark, what's that? Um, they are, um, can we, uh, can we edit this out? And then on the side compartment here, let's see, got chapstick for people with, uh, Chappy boys, like my chap lips. You got deodorant for the stinky boys, such as myself, after a hard workout session and hitting session. And then I've got morning wood espresso roast stout for something to enjoy. Every tennis player should have this in their tennis bag, assuming they're over 21. Nice celebratory beer afterwards. And then if you don't win that tennis match, We've got a 0.75 liter of tequila. Espelon 100 Pure Agave Blanco Tequila. Hits the spot every single time, every time you lose. And then the most prized possession in this bag is given the current circumstances, especially 2020 being not too far behind us, is toilet paper. Now this sucker was a gold mine. This was the gold standard in March of 2020. Now, it's about 50 cents, but 
always good to have it just in case a Taco Bell run from the night before kind of goes running down your leg and you can't exactly make it off the court in time. But always nice to have it, right? <laughs>